married. Yeah. Can you tell us what it was like then and where you came from? Well, it was so different, entirely different, coming from like a village of Croy, coming into Cumbernauld as a complete stranger uh, and having no friends. Mm -hmm. uh, all I got you had was your husband uh, and his family. Well, we went long here. He was conscripted at the age of 20 into the Royal Corps of Cycles. Oh, that was in the war, wasn't it? That was mm -hmm. in 1940. 1940. Yeah. Well, after that, I got to know uh, Jeannie Stevenson. She used to work in a baker shop in the village, Brown the Bakers. And then I got to know the Humphreys girls. There was twins, Isabel and Mary. And Margaret was a great friend. Uh, she was a beautiful singer. And then I got to know Mina, Mary Bryson, mm. and we all then went about. And about Burnley. Well, when I first got to Cumberland, it was in the wind and it was in an attic. An attic. Mm -hmm. And my husband, uh, when he was working, uh, he worked with um, this old man, old Mark Boyd, and it was him who owned this red building. It was in the line just across from the church, mm -hmm. and this is what they called the free church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, every Sunday morning, we were just right across, and then I am taking this ding dong bell going, <laughs> you know, yeah. the, from the church, you know. Uh, I'm trying to think of the man's name that was in it. He had a daughter. Does anyone else remember? He stayed up the roadside in that free church. Mm, it wasn't the Nielsen's because they were no, the church, they were um, the parish church. Mm. Oh, remember me. Remember. We'll probably get back to that. However, uh, it was a very, very long life. Uh, 25 shillings was the pension you got. Mm -hmm. Paid rent quarterly. Was that the and walk? That's it during the war, during we the come, war, yeah. paid the rent quarterly, and when they come for the rent, uh, you had 25 shillings pension, the quarterly rent came in at 24 and 9 pence, and I was left with straps. <laughs> and um, I walked it, I took a bus to Condora, and I walked it back home to our own home in Crowley. Crying my eyes out the whole way because I only, <laughs> only had a penny. It was tuppence then from here to Condora. Mm -hmm. And of course, my mother, uh, she gave me a basket of messages and a pound in the bottom of the basket mm -hmm. to help me the rest oh, mother, of the week. <laughs> <laughs> so then, my sister, what she did for to keep me from going without food or anything. Uh, she sent my sister to stay with me, so my sister paid the dick money. Mm -hmm. That uh, always gave you that surplus mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. that she paid the dick money. Right, Betty, well, can we have your version now? I came in August 1941. Mm -hmm. My husband was demobbed out of the army. And we came and we bought this fish and chip shop down the village. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we were in, I was in that shop. Uh, okay. Just to be, I went up to be 16. Remember the special fish? That's special? right, that's right. And the, all the young ones used to come into my shop before they went out on dates. And then we had a jukebox, with all the, the latest record thing, you know. And, uh, Whenever they would come back and all the days into my shop again, right. and they would sit and start playing the jukebox, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, she always had a photo of Roy. I had a photograph. I actually had to put a photograph of, of Roy, Roy because he was because Italian. Because in those days they were very much prejudiced against oh, any any strangers or foreigners in the village, right? Uh -huh. And uh, I had to put a photograph of my husband in his uniform above the fish and chip range. So that, well, after that, 
your fight then, you know, even the real life that you've been mm-hmm. in the army, you know. Mm-hmm. I just and thought he, he was demobbed out of the army because... So he was Italian? Yes. yes. He was Italian. Well, his, his father was yes. Italian, his mother was Scots. Mm-hmm. And uh, we stayed in Glasgow. Yes. And uh, we've been in Glasgow all days. So when we came out to Cumberland, I mean, he said, oh, I'll never stay here. It's such a, a barren place, you know. <laughs> and we said, we'll never stay here six months. And now I've been here for 50 years. Yeah. But I had terrible tragedy because uh, in 1953, my husband and I, I just knew we got a new house on Carrick Road. And uh, he was determined he would do the, dig the garden, see. So he got tired and he said to me, he said, Betty, I think we'll go to the pictures tonight. At that time, it was a picture hall down in down the main road. Main Street. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And and you only paid for four coppers. Oh, that again. You know. You I think it was four pence. Yeah. I, I think, think, think it was a shilling to go up the yeah. stairs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the main street was the boy uh, street. Right down. to the very bottom. Opposite the spur. Yeah, where the, where the main road, road is. Yeah. You know where that space. other building is. It I think it used to be an old church at one time. It was a church where bears. Church. 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 And uh, she had it as a petrol, and it was right. the uh, wee Willie Russell that run the project. That's right, that's right. And Maggie owned it, Maggie, but she came in with her torch and shot it. Right. All the kids would be carrying on, and she said, Maggie, who is? I'll tell your mother the word. <laughs> <laughs> but she would run with, she would run with fish and chip. Uh, 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 Crisps and ice right, cream and all that sort of thing. And she would say, don't make a noise. That's right. Crisps. Right, Betty. So uh, we went upstairs to the, the balcony, you know, and uh, I was there that night. Yeah. We're sitting, we were sitting, watching the film, and the film I was about was quite, quite a, a, a sad film, you know, mm-hmm. funny enough. And uh, my husband had a bag of peppermint sweets, and I had a bag of some other kind because I didn't like his peppermint sweets, you know. Mm-hmm. So I turned around and said, I said to him, I said, do you like one of my sweets, you know? And I just heard, like that, you know. I said to him, I said to him, what's the matter, Roy? We fall asleep, you know. He's dead, sitting beside me. Oh, my. We'd be in that, we'd be in that. Oh, yeah. That was very sad. So, so after that, I mean, things were. But I still still carried on the fish and chip shop. Did you? Uh And uh, five months later, a wee boy was out playing, and we were playing cowboys and Indians. And in the excitement of the game, ran across the street right under us. At that time, the buses, the buses came up, up the street, street, came down the street, and down the street, street and lost yeah. both his legs. Mm. He was five and a half years old. Mm-hmm. But now he's up, he's married, and he's got a wee girl of 14. Well, that's good. He's so made a great life for himself. Oh, yes, I'm so uh, when, when Roy died, that's right. I was up. That's right. Mrs. Quinn was That's up. right. Uh, all, all the neighbours came from here. We all came from here in the car. You know. They definitely did. I mean, all the was it different in those days with enabling us? Yes, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. When they got oh, to know you. It was a village. Got, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Everybody knew one another. Everybody knew one another. That you know. was in what, 53? I'm 53. Yeah. It was a village. Lost in me, 1953, my husband died. And my son lost both his legs on the 9th of the same year. The same year. Yeah. That was tragic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where about was the fish and chip Down shop? Down in the wind, number, number number five, the wind. See where the, the, the car park is now? Yes. Well, all oh, that, that was my sand. shop, was mm-hmm. there, you know? Was it not before you come to that? Oh, no, no, that's no, right. no, no. Not the sense. Sense. Uh, uh, was it was People's Hall at the back of it. That's right, People's Hall was at the back of it. That's right, the main street. But you went into People's Hall through the main street. Yeah, that's right. Did you give up the fish and chip shop eventually? No, I carried on for 25 years. or 25 years? Along with my sons and my mother. My mother was living that time. I don't know what I'd done without No. And my brothers and all my helped me, you know, mm-hmm. and I uh, managed it until 1968, and then my sons were all up, and they were spinning out dates and all that sort of thing, so they hadn't the down to help with the gym, you know, so I said, oh, well, that's it, you know, mm-hmm. so that was it. 
Molly, your best customer of Betty used to be my son when he came That's right, a smoky fish supper, that's right. Fish supper. You used to be able to get a smoky fish that's supper. That's right. What uh, was a smoky fish supper? It was made with smoked smoke tannin. Smoked tannin, smoke right. And when um, I was going to Canada, that's the first right. time I went to Canada to see him, Betty says to me, you should have really got a fish, a smoky fish supper today. That's right, that's right. Smoky fish supper and a bag of chips. That's right. <laughs> Yes, but uh, in those days, uh, during, during the war years, we had evacuees out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From Glasgow? From Glasgow. Yeah, uh -huh. the, from Clyde Bank. Clyde Bank. Right. Faithfully all down that area, you had mm -hmm. them all out. Uh, and then with and the Italian uh, prisoners of war. Yeah. Remember? Uh, uh, they used to come in the show point. Maybe the Dennis's. That's right. They opened the school hall. Right. And uh, we used to have a service, a church at Alabama County. Mm -hmm. We used mm -hmm. to have a church service in the school. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then but eventually the, the, the mass of our mash opened the wine down the yeah, wine. That's right. when, yeah, that was a long while later, you know, mm -hmm. when the, everything was back to normal. The war was over then, and uh, the vacuees all went away. Everyone nearly always took in an evacuee. Right. I know six my mother-in-law had, right. had a My mother-in-law had a vacuee. Six shillings a week, was I think you mm. got for them, yeah, right. I've, yeah, no, I, I've no idea. Yeah, I think it was yeah. six shillings. Josie, Josie was one of the girls who came to Maggie Pontys and used to help her. You remember that's Josie? Right, yeah, she was right. a nice girl. Maggie Pontys, that was a village person. Her name was really Mrs. Andrews. That's right. But that was her village name. You never knew her name. They called her anything else but Maggie Pontys. Uh, because of the, the thing with the definition of that was the Pontys pile of game of the Jews. There used to be another couple that stayed in the village. Right. Mary, Mary June, her husband. That's right. Yeah, long, yeah. long, long that. before that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, uh, the, only, the only work that was really available was either in a shop or mm -hmm. in the brickfields at Castle Carey. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of us worked in the brickfields at Castle Carey. Mm -hmm. uh, there was minus two sisters, Flora and Lizzie. Flora's in the hospital. Long before mm -hmm. I was married, you know, we used to come up to the dancing up here. Uh, there would be people's just dancing all mm -hmm. the way. Where, where was that? People's People's was in, it was, uh, it was a close, it's in Main Street, mm -hmm. yeah, you went through there and there was this hall behind it, that uh, was People's mm -hmm. dance hall, sometimes across from the school, the Masonic Hall, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then there was also a hall where now is the funeral parlour. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. that, that was, that that was, was a, that was a good, that that was good dancing mm -hmm. because you used to get all the old people turning out, mm -hmm. and I mean the old people really did enjoy it themselves. Mm -hmm. Really, mm -hmm. I mean it was always you know all time dancing and things. And like then they used to have the the cards, remember the, the bus drives. Well, we had the talk each mm -hmm. when the yeah. front of us. Mm -hmm. I we, I used to go at the, in the in the smithy ends, just hall. at the corner, mm -hmm. there was a talk each hall. It was up upstairs. And big Harry here, it was here today, I wanted him to stay. And I was so young then, never played cards or anything like that. So I used to go to this tuck each twist. Uh, all the older people, you know, if you played the wrong card, oh, they you know, cut your <laughs> um, <laughs> Harry was the one who used to say, um, just, just play on it. Don't, mm. don't bother with him, mm. you know, just play on it. <laughs> They really, they were, there were some of them really welcomed you. Ah, uh, that's right, but the older ones. There were others who didn't, mm -hmm. and uh, I was in that attic for about eight years until I built three That's mm -hmm. right, yeah. Where we are just now, this used to be, there were 16 prefabs. Mm -hmm. Was there any? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the house right. I'm in is where your prefab was. That's right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, that house, the attic that we were in was condemned and there was such an outcry because I had, they said that I was half, half the time crawling. I was a porn, I was a porn, I wasn't entitled to it. Right, yeah. At that time, you smell this would be good put up That's right. and the council offices, a list of who was all 
being harvested. Oh, mm -hmm. And if you, if you had any objections, mm -hmm. you put in your objections. That's right. Uh -huh. So there was an objection put in because mm -hmm. there was a Mrs. Thorburn, Mrs. Boyle. Right, uh -huh. um, she was, at that time, she was next door to me, Annie Shillin, or Annie McBurney, That's right, uh -huh. was down at the bottom. That's right. And Nan was in the middle, tall and Nan, mm -hmm. but in the middle. So this objection went in, so mm -hmm. we had to wait six weeks mm -hmm. before we got this house. We had to wait to the actually put a, mm -hmm. an order on it that it was condemned property mm -hmm. before we got this house. What were the, what were the, sorry, what were the social facilities like? Did you have a bathroom in your house? Oh, or? No, 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 no,
got into hospital. But even then, getting into hospital was quite difficult. That's right. And it wasn't only that, you had to pay 30 shillings for the ambulance yes, if you had to do any work. Yeah. Yeah. Which was quite a lot of money when you didn't have very that's much. That's right, yeah. that's right. And nobody in the village was, what you say. Well, no, that's right. Mm. So you'd be quite reluctant to call a doctor. Yes, that's, that's right. right. I mean, yeah. you had to pay the doctor mm. then then. You, but this is a point we're really getting away from. We were in rations. Mm -hmm. That's right. This and these Not guys. only didn't, you didn't have a lot of money, but you only had rations. Yeah, yeah. Right. Even and your clothes was, was uh, yeah. 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 Y
and they used to come in for their wee shorts and their wee tops. Mm -hmm. You their know, it's still the same equal sign. And their it's still, it's still the same equal sign, yes. 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 Still yeah. the same. But Engels' mother mm -hmm. used to phone me. But it really, it really was good because, I mean, uh, sports day at That's the right. at Cumberland School. Oh, it was, it was, down, it was down, down in the public thing. park, oh, yeah. you know, where the school is. Mm -hmm. uh, it was down in the public That's park. Right. Mm -hmm. And I mean, married. everyone turned out to watch the kids play. Really, I mean, I mean, it was really fun. Oh, the kids around there. It was a real, really, 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 really interesting. interesting. You see the Gallaudy, yeah. see the Gallaudy in Cumbernauld. It was in this one. As I say, the gallery used to start no. from where, way down at the bottom here, where Carrick, mm -hmm. uh, where the old road is, mm -hmm. and it used to be a sort of dirt track, and we used That's to ball right. lined up, right. and the band played. Yeah. And I, I'm going back, I'm going back all when I was at school, mm -hmm. and I used to come up with these wee girls with who we went to Cumberland School, mm -hmm. and it was Mr. Mm -hmm. Leishman, it was a janitor mm -hmm. then, you know. That's right, yeah. And there was a girl picked from each school, the, the head girl of each school, yeah, every year a different school. You know, the but this, was, the this was long ago where the co-op, this is long ago, where the co-op gave a gala. It was just a gala. It was just a gala. And I mean, the co -op you, used to give the, prizes. the band took you right round right, the, yeah. the whole of Cumberland, mm -hmm. you know. But you got you back to the, the mm -hmm. crowning of the Queen, right, yeah. which was a big it was thing. Weird. Was it mine or Cathy Mine Graham? Graham? It was the first queen. Cathy Graham, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it was Cathy. Cathy, I think. I was going to try and bring her to David. She's got an awful Well, mm -hmm. Cathy, I think, was the, the first queen. queen. Mm -hmm. uh, Mina was the next one, wasn't it? Mina. Oh, it was Miss Jean. No one needs to get hold of Cathy. Mina was the queen. I have got some photos, in fact, of the crowning of the queen. We'll get Cathy, we'll try and get Cathy in someday. I've got Mina, this is a friend of mine, Mina Dent. She's no longer here, Mina died. Three years, four years, isn't No, two years passed in March, Mina died. And Mina, when she was a queen, it was Miss Jean Burns who crowned Mina. And the retiring queen, Cathy Graham, the the the, the present the queen, queen. Mm -hmm. uh, was at the bottom of the stairs of the big uh. house, and the retiring queen was behind her with her six I ladies of waiting. Six, no, she had three ladies in waiting down mm -hmm. each side, mm -hmm. and the same with the present queen. Mm -hmm. And of course, the might have been the retiring queen be long before that, uh -huh. you know. It was Miss Jean who returned. Crowned, crowned her. Right, right. She crowned the queen. Mm -hmm. But you also had a page boy, and, and all the kids, all the kids, the village was involved. all the kids the represented different and countries. And right. They sewed and everything that went into it. Right. And the herald would shout out, you know how, you know uh, this how is how the so. mm -hmm. uh, Your Majesty, would you please welcome, you know, in all the right, different countries, right. all come and dressed in the costumes. Mm -hmm. Really, it was really good. I was just Marvel saying to Marvel. somebody the other day, what happened to our original crown and the robe? Oh, that's right. We did. Just we did. Just we did. Jean Burns will probably have it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 She's still yeah. living to, uh, yeah. I think it's her. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Jan, you know the Burns laid line? The Burns laid line, well, they actually owned the Cumberland House. Right. And you owned all the property. You owned all the property. And lived in Cumberland House. They actually owned all the property. Miss Jean used to go to put the relation at home, right? We, we had a cattle show, oh. and that, that was my father's, oh, that was really. Nice. That was, it yeah. used to be a real life where, right. where, where the United Club is. Oh, and my father never would miss it, because oh. Miss Jean and Captain Burns were related to him. My own name was Burns. Oh. And uh, he came so that they could talk, you know. Mm -hmm. And the fact, we're after getting a photo of my father, uh, actually taking off a new photo. Now this is a, it really is, it's really history. This goes way back. The Burns is, the Burns in leadership now, nor Denver Clyde, nor that. I can't go into all the details. I, I was one of the younger ones of the family. Mm -hmm. But my young sister out in Canada is really interested. She's following up this family tree. 
But this my father used to always come up to the cattle show just to see Captain Burns and Miss Jean. That was another event that we used to have. I and then, went and and then they used to have that. I remember at the end of the cattle show, they used to come and have the dancing at the bottom of the room. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the Bowling thing. Green had a croquet. The Bowling Green, which was then, was at the bottom mm -hmm. of the village, and they had a croquet lawn. <laughs> they used to dance in the croquet lawn. And up to then, the overstall was brought and danced at the bottom of the of this of course, at that time, it. of course, at that time, the bowling green was down that's right. at the bottom that's of the, right. that's the street. Was there not water on the other side that used to freeze up? That's the point. Yeah, that's right. the other yeah. side of the road. That's the other side of the road. Do you know where the spar is? Do you know where the spar is? Or just right across the spar? Can you remember the skate? Well, they're talking about building houses along there. That's right. That's right. Are we thinking? I mean, we're having a meeting here tonight. Are you going to the communion? It's to be a community meeting today. Today, better go. It's all about it. And something to do with the amenity trust. They're going to try and get a committee for this amenity. Uh -huh. This is the the total Springfield Road and all that down there. Mm -hmm. That was all built in bulk. That was it's all built. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. it's all built in you know how they blocks. The blocks. They put the blocks in. Remember me? I mean that was all bulk. Mm -hmm. Right along a continuation of Longo Terrace. Long the terrace was going to be condemned, yes, yes. it stop right. because that was mm. all That's why they haven't built any more along past Long Terrace. And also the, the workings, the mine workings mm. as well. No, just bog. No, I don't no, think there was any mines about it. there. Castle of Kerry was along mm. with the mines. <laughs> remember the tragedy in Castle of Kerry? Yes. Can you remember that? The tragedy in Castle of Kerry? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Remember the playground? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Billy Bremner's granddaughter. Mm -hmm. uh, she was over four kids, girl. No, no, just two. Three boys and a wee girl. What actually happened? Well, well, you see, the, 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 wee so the, wee, the, wee girl, the wee girl saw this hole in the ground, you see, and uh, she says to the wee boy, she says, Come on, sis, see this hole. And it was as though it was sort of sand. You know, the, uh, the sand was into this wee hole, you see. And she says, Come on, put her foot in it. And she put her foot in it. As soon as she put her foot in it, this ground opened up and swallowed both her and the wee boy. Her and the wee yeah. boy. Her and the wee boy. And it was gas. That was what killed them. And gas. wasn't it the fellow Russell? It was, it was, it was the fellow Russell that went down. Eye. He went down and brought them up. I'm oh, sure he never was well after. No, no, never no, was. No, no. What year was that, do you think? No. no. I don't know. I wasn't aware. I haven't thought about this for years. 1940 was. Yeah, right. It's about 43, I think. I think it was about 43. Oh, you've got a beautiful. You never saw as nice a wee girl, mm -hmm. beautiful blonde, blue eyes, and pearl, 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 She's pearl, 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 the, the mine workings in Castle in fact, there are some of the houses sinking yet. That's right. Um, so, that was they're supposed to take it out in oh, so sure. many where areas. Where the swings were waiting. Right. They used to pass them when you went to Falcon Rivers. So so you know, they're mm. building them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a house there. Yeah, well, yeah. it was actually in the playground that this happened, mm -hmm. you know. Was that was the roundabout, the roundabout, and everything went right down. I used down. to stay across the road there, just mm -hmm. across the road there, and perhaps you and I we moved up to West End. That's right. You moved up to West End, <coughs> just across there. That's right. Is that what they called West End? Mm -hmm. West End was yeah. just across there, yeah. yes. I have Rooms photos. Mm -hmm. yeah. and kitchens, no water, no light. No we were standing at... at fall, I know what I felt. We were standing at the... the Prefab door and the right along here, there was old Jimmy Rowett. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. so Peter Johnson's house is now. Uh, and he was stayed right. across here. Mm -hmm. I remember. Mrs. Uh, Clyme used to go in and clean for him. Uh, before you had anyone. And then there was a, was a building here, there was a two story building. That's right, the road there. That's right. This is a big block. This right. is McGuckin. Right. Um, Lizzie Wilson's being there. That's right. Jim Calder. That's right. Steenie Smith stayed up the stair for McGuckin. That was the block. That was West End. Yes, right. They moved us from that building down to Stirling Street, mm -hmm. and it was we it was intercity bought it over. Mm -hmm. 
And the more nice there. And Mr. McGeffen and Steely Smith stayed up. She's still living there. But then there was Hattie Nielsen was in there, Jim Calder. Jenny Thornton went into it, Lizzie mm. Brady was in it. And that was long, was that? No, the part view. Um. When did Winter Place come into being? Oh, it was oh, long before that I came in. Has it always been there? Uh, so no, 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 it was still in the street. I think it was 1936, something else. Then Winter Place, then Winter Place. And then Longwood Terrace was built, getting built when one was declared. Yeah, it must have been about 35, 36. No, it was about 36 times. That's right, yes, that's right. That's right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It must have been about 30, 35, you come right right. Right. You could walk once upon a time from Glasgow straight out to Cumbernauld. Yeah. Well, you know, me mm -hmm. actually More had, less, to, do, Mary, me actually had to do that because we, we, we come out, we, we, at that time we didn't have a house in Cumbernauld and we used to have to come from Glasgow out in the bus. Now, you know how much it is in the bus now. At that time, it was when one is six and a ton. A shilling to fall. But anyway, he, my husband went into the fish market, and uh, he used to go to the fish market every morning. Fish, you see. And uh, he went to go and get the bus. And it was actually, I think it was May or June. And it was, the snow was so heavy that the buses all went off. It's and, okay. and him and my, 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 my husband and my brother had to walk all the way from Glasgow out to Cumbernauld. Because I was, left, I was, left, I was left in Cumbernauld and I had to spend the night in the police station because <coughs> I had to go and stay with the policeman that, that was a long walk. We, we did yeah, have a, we had a, that's right. we're on police station. That's right, right, down the way, way. opposite my, house, my shop. Uh -huh. It's still, it's Mrs. still there yeah, at the same right. close. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's Mrs. Corner. It's still yeah. Mrs. Corner. Yeah. So your children all went to school in Cumberland? Yeah, well, yes. the yes. Elmond yes. went, yes. went to school. First of all, I went, went to St. Then I Croy, then then the, 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 no, the Sacred Heart. I went when, if the way the high school was at St. Ninian's. Then to St. Ninian's, yeah. That's yeah. Her, I'm talking about my kids. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. Did know. the children have to walk to school then, or did they get buses? Well, my son no. used to go to school, to which was just across the road from where we stayed. And then when they became 14, 13, 12ish, was it? Instead of going out, there was no high schools. They used to go down the bottom of the road in the easy Ozzy bus. That's right, that's Tom right. The easy Ozzy yeah. bus would take them to Croy. The old fashioned bus. And then they would get the train from Croy to Lenzi. And then they went to Lenzi Academy. That's the heat. But that easy Ozzy bus, Tom Foy, it used to take, it used to travel on a, a Sunday morning mm, when right. I was in Cumberland. Mm. It took us down to, Croy. Mm, to the right. chapel at Croy. Mm. And before I was ever married, that bus was running. Easy and you wondered where half of them all come from. And you wondered how, how it was and able to go. almost died of going this bus because all the talent will come from all over <laughs> there, you know. You always wait that you'd like a Michael's bus go past, wait right. and easy. You were in to see all what kind of talent was on it, you know. <laughs> Why was it called the Easy Ozzy bus? Because, because it was an old It was, it was, it was, it was an Easy Ozzy no Sharaban, <laughs> as you were talking about. Just went no it, more. it was Tom White right. from Cumbernauld Station. All I, the time. I can remember once we didn't. Two got pictures in Corsair the Saturday night. There used to be sure. two, two pictures in Corsair. There were no pubs. The, the Kings in the one side and the Pavilion in the other. There was a lot of pubs in the one side. Oh, that's right. There were no pubs. It used to be growing all that. It was really. Corsair used to be a great place to live in. And of course, everyone went to the pictures. From all over. It took us out to the pictures. My wee dog will be. My wee dog will be.